Hi guys, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about why I was away from YouTube for about a year and four months now and I'm also going to talk about my name change that I have done on my social media. A lot of people weren't able to find me because I have changed my name on social media. Well, my username if you want to call it or my nickname if you want to call it. I don't know why you call it but my name. Not my personal name but you know my brand name. <laughs> So I guess I'll start off with the name change and talk about that because it's quite quick, quite fast, a little explanation, you get to the point and that is it. <laughs> so let's start with that. So the Pure Styles was a name that I started or I created in 2009 and I decided to change it in 2019. The reason why I did that because I felt like in 2019 I kind of just made a brand self-discovery brand I don't even have a brand but a business self-discovery if you want to call it and I really wanted a name that represented who I am that kind of like explains me a little bit more if that makes any sense so my name is Noor and Noor it's an Arabic name and that means light and beauty is a passion that I always had since I was a young girl and I just always loved beauty and by ND, ND is my initials so that's N and D. So that is the initials that I normally go with on daily basis in my personal life. And I decided to kind of put everything together and make it Light Beauty by N D. I really love the name. It's very simple if you want to call it. Yes, it's quite long, but for me it is just it's simple for people to know who I really am and what I do. So instead of the pure styles that people really didn't really get because it was a name that I kind of created when I was quite young and I kind of like grabbed words to get it put it together and the pure styles was born but thanks to that name got me where I am right now personal and YouTube wise as well it was really heartbreaking for me to change it but I really had to do that to kind of work into my personal business if you want to call it Second of all, the reason why I was away from YouTube, it had to do a little bit with YouTube and it had to do a little bit with my personal. So I guess I'll start off with YouTube because it was something that it was quite hard for me to analyze and figure out what was really going on and I just couldn't really understand the concept about what was going on and therefore it really brought me down a lot and it just made me not be creative anymore or did not inspire me anymore because of what the outcome I used to get was really just tough on me and I couldn't really understand it and I still don't understand it to this point but I guess I have to work a little bit hard and create something different that you guys haven't seen before therefore in my channel you will see some beauty you will see some other stuff too I feel like I want to do some story time with you guys and maybe a little bit of like food eating and stuff with my husband since him and I were like big foodie people let me know what you think we always like he likes to cook a lot and we like to eat a lot since we're foodie and uh, I think that would be really fun too to bring on to my channel let me know what you guys think I really want to know what you guys think but the reason why I was away from YouTube and the reason it was from YouTube is because every time I uploaded a new video or I was so excited about it, I'm so excited for you guys to see it, I just wouldn't get the same outcome back and it kind of really brought me down and kind of like demotivated me if you want to call it. Um, so it's basically um, every time I uploaded something new I feel like my amount of subscribers decreases more than increases and I just really felt down at first I looked into it you know I did my research I asked people here and there they said oh YouTube kind of deletes old channels that nobody goes on it so they delete it so whoever subscribed to you that wasn't really active on their YouTube they would delete it and I was like what the okay and every time that happened every time I uploaded a video every day there was there was decreases and decreases in my my subscribers and I just couldn't really understand it at all and I felt really sad I felt really down and I got really demotivated therefore I decided to take the break from YouTube to kind of just focus on myself and do my personal thing and there's word out the reason why I left YouTube because I just really was really disappointed with the outcome every time that I was so excited to upload a new video I was so excited every time I did a giveaway or anything like that I just didn't get the outcome that I thought I was gonna get and therefore 
it really brought me down and it really demotivated me for uploading and creating videos for my youtube channel but i am back now and slowly coming back it's you're not going to see continents from me every day but i will try my best to upload from time to time to just keep you on the loop to keep you in my channel and just to keep you guys entertained with my videos beauty wise and everything which i love to do i love to sit down and create tutorials for you guys but basically it's my happy place <laughs> so for that i do apologize for just disconnecting from you guys and just not uploading any more videos so i truly apologize for that and for the second reason i don't really have to apologize for it because it was a self brand business discovery that i really needed to take and 2019 i would say end of 2018 2019 was really rough and that's where i was kind of you know fed up of everything just wanted to have my break, have my time to think about what to do and figure it out some stuff that I just wanted to figure it out in my personal life. And this is why I took also another break to kind of just focus on myself and remember who I am and why I do what I do and why I love what I do. So that is quite important to just sometimes take some time and think about it and just realize what really means to you the most and just focus on that and that's exactly what I did and I am quite happy and proud to what I have done to be honest and I am really looking forward new exciting projects, uh, new work, more business, more clients and I am just really looking forward for it. Other than the quarantine, put everything on hold right now, but hopefully everything goes back to normal, that I can just go back and do what I love to do most. Therefore, 2019 and early 2020, I have signed up to two big beauty shows that we have here. One of them was Elegance Wedding that I did in September 2019. And the second one I did is Salon Marion Nou that we have here in Montreal that happens twice a year for two days and that's a huge wedding show and I got the chance to invest into both and kind of show my brand and show what I do to people and I was so excited about them and I have gotten so many people I've met so many new brides so many people and I was just so happy about it I'm proud I'm just happy hopefully it's all positive and good vibes this is what I roll with right now my husband and I were on that just if it's positive and it's good vibe give it to us if it's not just keep it away ignore it and just leave it there <laughs> one thing I have to say never stop on believing in yourself just never stop in what you are worth what you believe in and what your goals are because once you do you just feel really down and really demotivated and it's quite hard to get out of that mindset but once you figure it out and you know that you want to get up and do that then trust me there isn't anything powerful than that so believe in yourself, do what you love to do and never stop doing it because you will get somewhere. Yes, it takes time. Yes, it's quite tough, but you will get there no matter what. I just wanted to kind of share this video with you guys and I really hope that there is no hate relationship between you and I. Um, just I kind of apologize and I don't apologize. It's kind of like sorry, not sorry for me being away um, but um, it's something that I think everybody should do just to take a step back realize what you want to do achieve it and just start all over again and um, I think that's quite important to everyone I'm looking forward to uploading more videos here on my channel more fun stuff for you guys and let me know what you think let me know what you want to see from my channel and I will try my best to make it happen. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, for sticking with me <laughs> and even though I wasn't here, thank you for that. It really means a lot and I know some of you contacted me personally asking me where have I been and that you miss my videos and that really, really warmed my heart and it broke it at the same time. Like I can't believe that I just stopped for these people but I am back. Thank you for checking on me. Thank you for asking where I was. I am here. I'm still here and I will continue continue to be here for you guys as well. 
Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Love you all so much.